And the Grammy goes to Future featuring Drake and Tim's Wait For You. Hey guys, welcome to Afro Ten. Today we'll be talking about 10 Nigerians that have bagged the Grammy Award in their careers. Numerous Nigerians have received both domestic and international recognition. However, the majority of these Nigerian artists who have received numerous honors were among the best. Grammy Award winners are not just any performance, they are those who exemplify these characteristics. So here is the list of the 10 Nigerians who have received the Grammy Award. So guys, don't forget to take a minute to hit the subscribe button and like if you enjoyed this video. Semila De Okpeniyi, popularly known as Thames, bagged her first Grammy Award in the 65th Grammy Awards ceremony. Thames, who featured alongside on Future's Wait For You, took home the award for the Best Melodic Rap Performance. She was also nominated for Album of the Year, Best Rap, and in the 64th Grammy Awards ceremony, she was nominated for Best Global Music Performances with the Essence Song. Thames now joins Shade Adu, the Nigerian-British singer, as the female artist who have taken home the Grammy. Are you down, did it down, did it down, did it down, down, down? Kevin Olusola was born in Owensboro, Kentucky to a Nigerian father and a Grenadian mother. Olusola is a musician, beatboxer, cellist, rapper, record producer, singer, and songwriter, best known as the beatboxer for vocal band Pentatonix. He has three Grammy Awards to his name. In February 2015, Pentatonix won a Grammy in the Best Arrangement Instrumental or a Capella category for their song, Daft Punk, a medley of the songs by Daft Punk. In February 2016, Pentatonix won a Grammy in the same category, this time for Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy from their That's Christmas to Me album. In February 2017, Pentatonic won a Grammy in the Best Country Group Performance category for Jolene, which featured Dolly Parton. Whiskey won his first Grammy Award coming from his second nomination. Whiskey's win came via his feature on Beyoncé's Brown Skin Girl video. Before the Brown Skin Girl Award, he was previously nominated in the Album of the Year category for his contribution on Drake's One Dance. Although One Dance, his monster hit collaboration with Drake was snubbed by Grammy, Views, the album on which the track appears, was nominated for the Album of the Year, which had Whiskey credited as a producer and feature artist credits on the album. He later had two nominations for Made in Lagos in the World Album category and Essence in the Global Music Performance category. Bonner Boy's big win in the global music category with his Twice As Tall album is no small achievement. When he lost to Republic of Benin's Angelic Kijo in 2020, many felt he was still deserving. Even Kijo publicly acknowledged the talent, genius, and greatness that Bonner Boy stands for. Bonner Boy is among those young artists that come from Africa that is changing the way our continent is perceived. The African giant did retreat into his corner to sulk. Instead, he dropped a no-skip album before the end of that year. Which ultimately put him in the frame for consideration that year. In February 2021, a Grammy win cemented Bonner Boy's African Giant status. In the 65th Grammy Awards, he lost in two categories, the Best Global Music Album and the Best Global Music Performance categories. Very often, I get a really strong initial visual. It could be like just one setup. The Brown Skin Girl video was co-directed by British Nigerian filmmaker Jen Inkiru. Inkiru first worked with Beyoncé in 2018 as second unit director of Ricky Sa's video for Beyoncé and Jay-Z. In 2020, Inkiru handles the video for the launch of Beyoncé's Ivy Park fashion line. She won the award for best music video in 2021. They see me rolling, they hating. Hakim Seriki, professionally known as Chaminonia, is a rapper, entrepreneur, and investor. Chaminonia was born to a Muslim Nigerian father and an African American Christian mother in Washington, D.C., and moved to Houston, Texas at the age of four. He clinched a Grammy in 2007 for his song Riding under the Best Rap Performance by a duo or group category. He received a total of four nominations that year.
Henry Olusegun Adiola Samuel is better known for his professional name Seal. He is a British Nigerian musician, singer, songwriter, best known for his 1994 hit song Kiss from a Rose. He has 15 Grammy nominations to his name and has won four. His song Kiss from a Rose earned him three Grammy awards in 1996 and in 2011. He now this fourth Imagine he holds one of the highest numbers of Grammy Awards by a Nigerian. Siriku Adekpoju is a percussionist and recording artist and plays primarily in the genre of traditional African music and world music. He plays a variety of instruments and styles. While still in his teens, Sikiru toured with and recorded several albums with the Inter Reformers Band and the band of one of the pioneers of Afrobeat, Nigerian Juju artist Chief Commander Ebenezer Obey. He first won a Grammy in 1991 as part of Mickey Hart's group Planet Drum, whose title album won the Grammy for Best Contemporary world music album. That was the first time there was a Grammy in that category. He won again in February 2009 as part of Mickey Hart's latest group, Global Drum Project, whose title album won the Grammy Award for Best Contemporary World Music Album at the 51st Annual Grammy Awards in Los Angeles. Born in 1960, Likon Babalola is a Nigerian jazz percussionist and musician who started playing conga at an early age. He has seven albums to his name and two Grammy Awards. He began his professional career after joining a band called Samba Samba Band and later New York-based Art Barclays Jazz Messengers Band, where he perfected playing the bongo drums and performing jazz music. In 2006, he became Nigerian's first Grammy Award winner for his work on Ali Fanka Torres in the Heart of the Moon, which he was credited with three tracks. He also won a second Grammy in 2009 for his work on Cassandra Wilson's 2008 album titled Lovely. Born in Ibadan as Helene Fola Shade Adu in 1959 but professionally known as Shade Adu, the singer, songwriter, commentaries grew up in excess England. She is known as the lead singer of her eponymous band, one of the most successful female bands in history. She is often recognized as an influencer on contemporary music. She holds the title of the first artist of Nigerian origin to win the prestigious award. Her first Grammy was in 1986 for Best New Artist, then another followed in 1994 with to no ordinary love for best R&B performance by a duo or groups with vocals. She earned a tour Grammy in 2002 with Lovers Rock in the best pop vocal album and bagged her fourth in 2011 with Soldier of Love for best R&B performance by a duo and group with vocals. Honorable mentions of Nigerian artists who has received Grammy nods include King Sonia Day, who is the first to ever receive a nomination in 1983. Femikuti Femi has four nominations to his name and Nigerian writer Shimamanda Adechi Ungozi also has a nomination thanks to her future on Beyonce's 2015 album. So if you enjoyed the video, kindly click the subscribe button and like. Then click on the end screen by your left to watch the richest king in Nigeria.